Well, good morning, everybody. It is the first Sunday in February. I haven't talked to you since last year because <laughs> we didn't have any morning coffees in January at all. Just busy with um, post-holiday holidays because, you know, we had ours late because of my son coming home and just everything going on in the month. I didn't have to work any call um, at all, so I had a lot of weekends, but just lots of stuff going on personally and household-wise and all that type of stuff. You guys understand. So it's February and it is brisk in Wisconsin. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. But I'm sitting here in my um, my guest room. I hope you guys can pick that up. And it's not really that cold. And my coffee is not that hot. <laughs> but she's a steaming anyway. <laughs> so hope everybody had um, a great holiday season. Last time we had um, a little chit chat, whatever it was when I did my little Christmas tag with you guys. And then we did, I think it was that weekend we did coffee or there's about or something like that. Um, so I just thought I'd better get going because we're into February and I'm just thinking we got lots to catch up on. Hope everybody, like I said, had a great holiday with all your family and got to go where you got to go. And um, so was there some like um, issues with like some flights and stuff around the holiday season? I can't quite rem remember, but I think there were some delays and some issues and stuff. And what, what were the airports like down? Because I remember seeing on... Um, Facebook that somebody had posted that they were stuck in, I think it was the polio a month ago file, stuck in the Atlanta airport for some, they think the pro, Lord spit it out, because I think it was not working. It was it electrical or electricity or computers or something. So she was stuck there for a while. <clears throat> so that all went on over the holidays and we had a great holiday. Um, my son came to um, visit. Remember I said we had ours about uh, a couple weeks post Christmas season, but it was still um, holiday, and they did love their, uh, if you remember, I said I was going to do a little throwback um, Christmas, so we did that, and they each, one got a, um, a Scooby-Doo t-shirt, one got a um, Mutant Ninja Turtle t-shirt, which are popular now, but that was what they really loved when they are little, but in their today size, and we picked up the game Operation. Well, I'm rotten at that. I don't have as steady as hand as I did. And some trivia stuff. And so we just had a really relaxed, um, fun uh, Christmas. And the boys cooked. Because I'm not, I'm not a griller or a roaster. If I do roast, it's an oven roast or it's a crock pot. I'm a big crock potter. I come from the from the days of crock pots. And um, they're more patient than I am. My one son, Seth, is a great griller, and he will be patient and do everything he needs to. And I just don't have, I want to turn the gas grill on. He wants to do charcoal. So they made, we had prime rib. It's the one time a year, because it's so expensive, that um, we have something like that. So we had prime rib, and the boys cooked it, and it was delicious. And we oh, they bought double, because, you know, I said, make sure we have enough for a little bit for leftovers, right? So we, it, I saw the roast, I'm like, oh, Lordy, Lord. Because you have prime rib, you don't have, like, a... Or, well, I guess you go out and have the king primer. That's a huge slab. By the time you have dinner and a couple sandwiches and stuff, so we ended up uh, cutting half of it and freezing it and freezing it well, because Lord, Lordy, Lordy, it's primer expensive, right? <laughs> um, so we had that and had leftovers and stuff and ate that and just had a great visit. It was so nice and so relaxing. It was just me, Gary, and the boys. Um, so that was lovely. So that was our little Christmas thing. Otherwise, just doing, you know, just the normal life stuff. Um, a week or so ago, I got together with some of the gals, or Roseanne and Lind, that I used to work with at my other clinic. And um, they're both kind of semi-retired. One goes back in for casual call, and one of the ladies goes back in just to work one day a week at one of the branch offices just to get out and to do something. So they're kind of like really retired, but like semi, because you're still... You're not completely retired if you're still doing a little bit, some which they both are. Um, so it was great. Oh, I hadn't, I had not seen them in person since I left, which was um, September of 2016. Yeah, I think so. So we just had a great talk. We sat down and had um, lunch at the Wisteria Twig Tea Room Cafe, which is my favorite. And one of the ladies hadn't been to the new spot. And one hand, I just love it. She does such a wonderful job there. So we um, got there when it was, and we were the last ones to leave for lunch. We sat there and just talked and visited and caught up on um, personal stuff and families and what's going on and what her plan. And <clears throat> one of the gals had just um, the year before, <clears throat> was it the year before? Excuse me. I have a tickle in my throat. I'm not going to edit that out. 
I'll be okay. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I probably have dog fluff in my... Excuse me. <laughs> I probably have dog fluff fur in my throat. <laughs> no, I'm going to be tearing up. So, excuse me if my makeup is running. Yep, yeah, I got to take a break. I'll be back. Sorry about that. I thought I was going to be able to talk my way through that one. <clears throat> and the more I try to suppress it, well, I still can do the worst it got. Holy moly. So, <clears throat> sorry if my makeup's a little bit, because my eyes started running, and oh lord, it was a big old mess. So, <clears throat> if things don't look the best, sorry about that. I patted it up <laughs> as close as I could. So, <clears throat> as I was saying, it's probably dog fluff. I gave both my dogs a good uh, tub scrubbing today because boy did they need it <clears throat> I don't like to get them their hair cut right now because it's too it's like bitter I mean it is like bitter outside I don't want them to be out with their big fluffy without their big fluffy coats um so I gave them a good scrub and bath with and I use um Johnson's baby shampoo wash that works really good and trimmed their eyebrows up <clears throat> and their lady bits and cleaned everything up <laughs> super good so I think I got some dog fluffies floating around <laughs> in there. I'll show you. Little Molly is right here. We'll go out of frame. And so here she is. Here's little Molly. So she's, oh, she smells like a little baby now. Oh, she's so fluffy. So that's Molly. My dogs have two different coats. Lily, the older puppy, has a very straight, <clears throat> coarse coat, and I think because she's older, it's kind of lost its softness, and I think that might be just because of her um, diabetes and stuff, because <clears throat> she's thinned out a little bit, um, and her age, all of those factors. But when we got Molly, she doesn't have <clears throat> the standard, I'm so sorry, the standard schnauzer body. She's a little more lanky looking, not as chunky in the middle, <clears throat> and her coat's a little more um, curly. Read up on the um, history of schnauzers and breeding with schnauzers and all that stuff way back in the day. Um, there might be a little bit of poodle in them, so she has like the very um, curly <clears throat> poodle coat to her, especially when she's wet. I'll tell you, when they first come out of their bath, though, you know, that wet dog smell. I don't care if your dog is clean. If your dog gets wet or is outside and comes in through the snow and smell thing, they smell like wet dogs no matter how clean they are. <clears throat> so we had wet dog smell. Excuse me this morning but they're so fluffy and soft now and I'm um, let them all completely dry out and then I'm going to give them a good brushing <clears throat> schnauzers shed very little but in the winter when they have their winter coats they do more even though they don't shed much give them a good brushing once in a while so we very seldom find schnauzer hairs and stuff except for this time of year because of the winter coats and they're a little bit longer <clears throat> she's making a nest on the floor I have these my petticoats it's like they're in my petticoat, so they're in a big, so she made a great big nest on the floor, and she's all curled up in a little ball. She's the nester. She likes to be a little nest, little Molly does, no matter what. And she's, she likes to crawl in bed with you, and that's another thing. They, they need their baths, and, you know, they're laying on my beds all the time. And my comforter doesn't smell the best, <clears throat> so my comforter is outside because it is, I don't even know what the temperature is. It's got to be zero or close to zero, so it's outside freshening up. Because nothing like setting it outside, getting that cold, crisp air. I'll set it out there for a few hours, and then I'll put it in the dryer with some bounce sheets, and it just freshes it up. Make sure there's no puppy smells. Because I got one of those comforters for winter. <clears throat> That's one of those really thick, thick, thick ones that I have to take to the laundromat to launder. Because, I don't know, but my machine, and I've had my washing machine for a while, it um, gets off balance so dang easy when you're washing certain things and I could never wash my comforter in it. <clears throat> Blankets even are, are tricky so it has to I have to take it uptown and put it in the um, washing machine up there to have it wash. So um, I, I am dressed super warm. I got my flannel jammies on. I got my robe on. I got sockies on. It is cold. <clears throat> so anywho, get rid of this cough. So anywho, um, I was, I've been busy this morning and <laughs> My, um, you can see I have my stuff out of here for Christmas, so it's not hanging up anymore. It's in a great big pile. So I have my Christmas stuff in here in a pile. I have my 
um, Christmas stuff for the house, like in the dining room table. So everything's in congregated in little teeny areas because my tubs are out in the um, garage. And it's just like so bitter cold. <sighs> I'm just like, we don't have any company coming to our house until Easter. <laughs> I will have it done by then. <laughs> so I thought these little congregated Christmas piles would be just fine until like, it warms up a little bit. Just going out in that garage is just too, it's bitter. I don't want to. <laughs> so anywho, <clears throat> I had my great visit with them gals last um, couple weekends ago. So that was really nice visiting with them and catching up and visit. It's just been kind of a visiting last month for me. Visiting and just uh, getting ready for Viva. I mean, I'm one of these people, I don't know, no, I do know, <clears throat> I love planning for trips. I was going to say more than going, but no, that's not true at all. I love planning for trips. I mean, I will start months in advance um, planning. I haven't started my list making yet, but I've started thinking, okay, what can I wear? And as you know, I have been struggling with my weight. I mean, I had all that stuff with my shoulder and just had no energy or motivation <clears throat> to exercise and then just with all of the stressors that I've been dealing with with the last four months because I'm unfortunately a stress eater. I wish I was one of those people that was like when they're stressed they um, didn't eat. Oh I just can't eat because I'm all stressed out. No I'm the other one. I sit there and I just like pacify myself with snackies and eat and which is awful thing. So between the double duty of both of them I have gained weight since <clears throat> last Viva Las Vegas which was two years ago. So, you know, and I do have my outfits that um, I put together for Mississippi Mayhem when we couldn't go to that. So I do have all of that stuff. So I have a little mini wardrobe. Um, <clears throat> but looking at um, what am I going to take to Viva, right? So, I, and I have tons and tons of vintage clothes that I could wear. <sighs> I don't know, but maybe it's just <laughs> feeling sorry for myself and everything going on. And I am not a compulsive shopper, but it's just fun to look around and stuff. And there's been such great deals. So <laughs> my pity party has construed around um, shopping. Mod cloth. And mod, and I like a lot of stuff they have mod cloth. And I bought many things from them. <clears throat> but their sizing is just not right on. Um, you might buy something that's a 1X, but every single brand is a different sizing in 1X. So I try to research the 1X or, you know, and see what the sizing is, trying to find reviews off Amazon when I'm buying it off of another site like the ModCloth site. Because if somebody else has bought that, and ModCloth is good about this, I love this about ModCloth. If somebody has bought that, whatever piece of article clothing is, they'll send reviews in. And the girls will put, <clears throat> and this is right on the mod cloth site. So you like click on the dress, brings the dress up, and if you go down below, there'll be listed reviews, and they're all reviews. It's not like they nitpick and only put the good ones up. They put the reviews, and the girls will tell you anything from the material to the hang to this is my size, these are my measurements, um, this is how this size fit for me, or they suggest if you usually wear a size 16 size up or size down because it's way off or maybe two sizes off so that's one thing i really like about um mod cloth and i was kind of mod cloth was their own entity or company or whatever and then here last year walmart bought mod cloth and i'm like oh lord i don't know i felt up on all of that type of stuff and i'm just like it is what it is what are you, what are you gonna do here <laughs> it's like one of my favorite places to shop so um, and I haven't seen really any changes since Walmart took it over, which is good. Because I was afraid they're going to take some of the reviews off or maybe the quality to be different. And you can get stuff through Walmart that, through ModCloth that's really great. Or you, sometimes you get duds of stuff, you know, it just all depends. So ModCloth had their, what am I talking about? <laughs> ModCloth had, you know, their sale items, end of the season sale items. This is kind of the time to look for them. And then they had, was it for 24 hours or 48 hours? They had an extra... Let me see if I can remember this. An extra 40% off of their already clearanced items. Yeah. Wow. That was a lot. So, I went crazy buying stuff. And I, I bought, a, I got a lot of stuff, but I didn't spend a heck of a lot of money considering the amount of stuff that I got. You know, that 40% off stuff, you know, right? So, I did buy some stuff that um, was... Hopefully the size that I am right now. I had bought some stuff that is a size down for wishful, hopeful thinking. 
like I said, everything, <clears throat> like I said, my shoulders all straightened out and stuff. And it's going to take years before I get the mobility back into that. But I don't have, I mean, and it's uncomfortable yet, but I don't have that continuous, unbelievable, I can't take the pain. I can deal with discomfort 24-7. That's okay. And I'll get the full use of it eventually. I just remember with this one, <clears throat> it took several years to get the full mobility back. And for this one, just because the surgery didn't go as well as we were hoping with um, them refit on it, <laughs> moving, I have a feeling I'm not going to get 100% mobility back on this one. I probably got 95 back on this one. I'm, a, I'm thinking this one. I'm I'm not going to get that, but I can live with that, and I'm not going to go in there because the next step would be going there because he couldn't um, exteriorly manipulate it anymore. He was afraid he was going to break something. <laughs> I'd have to go in there where they'd cut you open, and they'd surgically loosen up those tendons, things that are tightened up like that. I won't do that. I, unless I had to have something really major done or a joint replacement down the, the road for something in my body, you know, I'd have, totally do that. But for something like that, that I can live with and still have use of it, and I just have to change some things in my life, I will not cut up a joint, cut up, cut open a joint unless it's a real necessity for need. So, <clears throat> anywho... <laughs> Hey, um, I'm all over the place today. Sorry about that. <laughs> For all of you who have had many morning coffees, you know I can be jacked up all over the place. Sorry, that's just the way I am. So, back to my mud cloth discussion. So I bought some stuff that is things that I can wear now. Some stuff I bought um, sized down to where I want to be. Not unrealistically, you know, like, gosh, I wish I was going to be a size 14 again. I won't ever be a size 14 again. Even... Here, so many years back, I can't remember it was 15, when I really was dealing, and this was pre-menopausal, I remember, um, because of my hysterectomy that I had when I was younger, I went into menopause earlier. Um, because of that, <clears throat> I had an easy run of it. I've had maybe a couple hot flashes, um, and maybe, I don't know if that's because I had my hysterectomy when I was so young. I don't know that I didn't have the bad effects of going through all of that type of stuff, but... So I didn't have the hot flashes, but I've noticed things like um, when you gain your weight, you gain it differently than you did before. You're more apt to gain weight because of the hormonal stuff. And facial hair, which is just lovely. Great. I had it when I was pregnant with both my boys. Um, I had gotten like chops. I got like fuzzy chops right here when I was pregnant with both of my children and just really like thick fuzzy hair all over my face. And that, that was hormonal. And then when I had my children and all that, then it, that kind of faded away. But now I've noticed in the last few years, and I'm sure my hormones are changing. Again, <clears throat> I got increased fuzzies here and then some stuff here. And I did try um, electrolysis where they Google it. And you'll know why I, I did it for like six or seven times. Didn't see the results. No, it was more than that. Because I think I bought 15 things and I think I went 10 times. But didn't see the results that I thought I would see. And I thought for the pain and discomfort, forget that. And I know lots of girls shave. I don't know. It's psychological for me. I don't want to shave. And I just don't want to get into that. So I bought, it's like facial nair, I guess. So I put that here to get rid of all my fuzzies and the little bit that I get here. Um, and that gets rid of it for like six weeks at a time. And then I still have some humdingers that I have to uh, pull right here. Oh. Yuck. I can remember my grandma Bean had fuzzies all over her face, but I thought, and she used that Lady Esther powder, and I thought it was so pretty, and I thought her face looked so soft and pretty. Um, but I see it on me, I'm like, no, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't want that fuzzy stuff on my face. So I switched to like a facial hair nair removal product. It's not nair, and I don't even know what kind it is. But I, I'm just not like a... You know, I'm a lab tech, and I draw blood all day, and I have to do stuff with needles all day. But using needles on me, oh, I just, it was like the whole thought of, I guess, when I was laying there having it done, I could picture the whole process and her putting the needle into the pore and just visualized it too much, and that's, that was, that's my issue. <laughs> so I'm just happy doing with what I do. Like I said, there are lots and lots of girls all over YouTube, all, all types of ages, either because of the way their body is, or hormonal, or ethnic background, women have facial hair. <clears throat> so 
I just don't want to sh I don't want to shave. I don't want to go down that road. I'll just stick with this. What are those called? Pillatories? I can't think of the name, but we're, it's a hair remover. So I use that and it does a great job and it doesn't break my face out. It doesn't cause any rash or redness because I have real sensitive skin and rosacea. So I'm just going to stick that route. Do you think I can get back to mod cloth? I don't know. So <laughs> I um, bought some stuff for what my goal is to get at, which is reasonable for me for all the stuff in my life. And I know what I can get at and what I'll be able to sustain. So I picked up some stuff because clearance and 40% off. I was, and you know, there's certain things that you buy and you can only get them in certain sizes. So that got stuff in my size. And then some of the stuff I wanted to buy for Viva is too big for me. But you know, like when you're buying dresses or circle skirts, you can belt them. You can, um, if they're too big along here, you can um, take in the sides easy enough. And when you're looking at these vintage dresses, a side seam, unless the zipper's on the side, you know, but you don't find that a lot in modern clothes anyway. That's in the vintage stuff. You can take it in the side, and if the waist is big, you can just cinch it or belt it. Um, so <clears throat> I bought some stuff that was too big for me that I want to wear to Viva, but that's okay. I can just belt it. I can cinch it. I'm not worried about that. Um, so I got a, a selections of different things. <laughs> some stuff like even is too big for me right now, um, but it was so inexpensive and I can make do. And some stuff smaller sized. Lord, so I just wanted some new stuff some new stuff and I got like I said I could probably stretch it because I have enough stuff that I had gotten together for Mississippi Mayhem but when you go to Viva <clears throat> you want to have extra things to um, wear so I bought some stuff from my cloth and I'm going to do a little um, uh, a bod cloth haul and I wish I had the time and inclination that I could like try every single outfit on and do a whole lookbook like some of the gals do but I don't. I'll have one of them on and I'll show you what I got. So I got some stuff from Mod Cloth. <laughs> Get to the end of the story. And then um, Lindy Bop, I just, and I had just bought a couple things from Lindy Bop because um, they had, you know, their sales stuff too. And Lindy Bop, they're pretty true to the sizes that are listed because they'll have a size chart. You got to really watch it because it will have, it has European size and some other size and then English size and so there'll be, I think some of them have like four different sizes. So when you're buying from Lindy Bop, which is a UK company, but they have um, a US site, so you don't have to pay the international shipping and deal with the money exchange deal. Lindy Bop has sales stuff right now too. And they, I just found out, oh Lord, <laughs> that they got 25% off of their clearance stuff. So I'm gonna look for a couple things on their site. And so I'm not sure where my battery cut off, but so Lindy Bop is pretty true to size. They have some dresses like the Ophelia that will run smaller a little bit in the bust area and the other um, styles um, that don't have specific names that run larger. So the smaller ones, I'm like, well, oh, that's good. That's good motivation to get into them, <laughs> the one smaller. And um, there's a few dresses that I bought that have run a little bit bigger than I thought they would. We showed about the smaller size, but when you're buying something that's on clearance, non-returnable, and I think Mod Cloth is like that too, and then you have the um, Wig Mod Cloth is extra 40%, and then the Lindy Bob is an extra 25%. I'll live with it. Like I said, I can take it in on the sides, and you, you belt it, and maybe um, don't wear the cloth belt. Maybe you wear a more rigid leather belt with it to tuck it in more. So you can modify all that stuff. The only thing you can't modify is if it's too small, but like I said, that's motivator. So um, that, I've been, that's what I've been doing this last month or so. I'm going to cut it short because I only have a little battery life between my cough and jig and my battery dying. I better, I better wrap this up. So that's all I've been doing is just stuff around the house. A little visiting with um, some good friends for years and years and years that I've had. Um, Christmas with the family and stuff and uh, just putzing around, staying out of the cold, trying to keep warm warm and getting ready for Viva Las Vegas. So I'm going to put together some because I have gotten some really great deals from, like I said, Mod Cloth and Lindy Bob. Check out both their sites. The 40% um, sale is done for Mod Cloth, but Lindy Bob has this um, extra amount of clearance on their um, 
their clothing for a while now. I can't remember how long, but an extra 25% off clearance is great. And if whatever you ship, I think the shipping is $7 for USA Lindy Bop, which is really great. But make sure you're on the USA site because of the shipping. Um, so great deal. So then I, um, I'm going to go on and pick up some stuff for my cousin Christy. So I will show you the stuff that, like I said, I got for all the different sizes for myself and the stuff that I got for my cousin Christy. And um, she wears a small, but with the Lindy Bop stuff, I'm going to get her a medium just for the fact of the way the cuts of things that I'm buying for her run. I want to make sure she's comfortable. And like I said, you can always cinch it in. Always better to have it a little bit bigger as long as it's like way too big. Like I said, I did get one dress from Lindy Bop that I thought it would fit me perfect the size I am right now. And it's like, it's like a whole nother size extra big. I'm like, I don't know what the dealio is, but it is what it is. And I'll see if I can make, make it work. Otherwise, um, I'll pass it on to somebody else or give it to Salvation Army or something But because I think I only paid like $20 for the dress so I can live with that because somebody else will get it and somebody else will cherish it and love it so I don't feel so bad when I donate to Salvation Army or maybe I should get together some stuff and give, give just give them away through you guys. I don't know if so I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in a giveaway of some of my um, stuff that doesn't fit or not. I don't know. Let me know. Comment below. Would you? Better wrap it up. Everybody take care till we have coffee again. Bye, everybody. Keep warm.